currently. I'm still very scared for G, and that was my concern, like, be even before the draft, but... They have run a Crypt Swarm will find him. Now they chase in with G, having a haste rune. Could well be your first blood. Juking in the trees, perhaps. One more auto attack secures the kill. The final Crypt Swarm does. Constantly in that lane, just ready to kill him. And, I mean, he already killed him once. So, let's Both see if teams. S4 can get this kill on top. Both teams making their moves right now. BZZ. He'll start dealing S4's damage. He won't have to follow up to get this kill. There's a grave waiting. It'll be used now, but Simba comes in. Ravage is ready, lets it fly. Hits on three. Sadoi couldn't get off the silence in time. The Fissure secures that first kill. Then the Coil looks for the trade. Fly will end up dropping. It looks like G rotating with Exorcism at the ready. Kuro joins the fight as well. Big commitment from Secret and a big win for them. Now they'll corner Sadoi and look to bring him down. Looking to make the two for three exchange. He tries to orb out. Can he escape? He gets healed up. Then the remnant fall from S4. Still surviving there this time. Gets off the chains. That'll end him now. It makes it a three for two in the end and a much needed team fight victory. Inching closer. And S4, he's ready to jump in now. We're going to have a little clash here. BZZ caught up with a quick multicast on S4. Trying to buy them time. Ravage really doesn't get anything accomplished. BZZ now great from the high ground. Kept alive for ages. The turn will probably come now. A remnant in again from S4. Just in case he goes down. Another multicast searching. It's a tide hunter for Razor with a Ravage expended. They did not get the tower yet though. And now S4 is on the chase. Surging forward onto Jotam. We'll find him. Chains cooling down. Arrow connects. That's a kill. Confirmed on the job, he can heal and try and live, but S4 is looking for the next kill. Finds the Ogre Magi at his own tier 1. No multi guess this time, immediate TP out attempted, no Fissure, no arrow. Yes there is, they have but a glyph. they're going to use it now as well. This is going to catch them completely off guard too. They're in a good position to defend against, uh, defend G, but that's... And s 4s is invis. Pending they walk up. Tower's already down, and they come in, Ravage connects, this time on 3. The heal's there from Jotam, didn't get caught, and the Fissure actually blocking them away. And now the turn comes, they go right back in on S4, looking for flies. Well, they already lost Kuro as the fight began, and now S4 turns with the chains. Silence was time, but not quite right. Still they get the stun, and S4 will drop two. Two cores down, your Murana limping back towards the well. Arrow fishing, but finds nothing. If they want any tower goals. Yeah, or try and trade. But their lineup is geared toward defending towers, so VP don't necessarily want to fall in that trap, but at the same time, they don't... Oh, Sidoi. Oh, Sidoi, he's played this one so well, but he will end up getting punished. Multicast on the Kuro, now Arrow, straight down the river. Ogre, too big to dodge that one. This should be a two for nil, unless more VP heroes come in to defend. And G's close to getting caught by Chains. That's four found him. Not sure if they can go too much further. They're going to try for it. Ravage is ready. Where's that Dazzle Grave? Staying out of range of the Ravage, but also somebody off. They've got a Dazzle in reserve. G will pop his ult. BKBs were used here. Kurogi trying to retreat. Another Slight of Fizz and a Blink, a Silence, a Coil that caught three. Kurogi will break it, just trying to run the hell away. They can't fight against this. Too much damage from VP. Three heroes fall. Sedoi bailing them out, and he's looking to make it four. Sim on the run. There's a Silence not even needed. The orb does it, had a few seconds to go on that silence. VP wiped the floor with Secret again and surge forward. Try to commit fully for the melee here. They're attempting to do it as safely as possible. While well, Puppy looks, but the Ravage comes through. A good one. Caught four. This is enough though. BKB now used by G. Exorcism still going strong during this time. BZZ face tanking everything. Charging on the gyrocopter. Kuro just can't stand against it. He'll end up falling. He's got to buy back immediately. And now the Echo Slam for Big Daddy. Can they find that turn? Flat Cannon's not ready for 15. Exorcism now ends. The arrow hits Yol. It might be too much damage now. With no Exorcism, no Razor, I don't think they can stand and fight any longer. Gyro and Ember can just run them down. They try for the chains. They won't get them, but they get the kill anyway from auto attacks. And now the chase is on. Jotam on the retreat out. S4 with the Slight of Fist chains. Cooling down momentarily. He gets it too. First bounce right onto him. Brave. TP out. Is it going to happen? Nope. Not going to happen. They lose their gem as well. Triple kill for Curl, and they only got a ranged Rex. And he won't commit too much further, but now, Ben, they get a refresher on the tide. VP might have some Yule Scepters and some BKBs, but they don't have too many. BZZ, do get out with Curl. If he dies here, it would be a dieback. He hasn't used his ultimate yet, though. Still holding Eye of the Storm. Now he's going to commit it. S4 will fall to this. That's a, that's an Ember out of the fight. Do they get the Curl kill? That's the big one. No teleport. Coil's there. They try to keep him alive. Secondary Ravage. Is this going to be good enough from Simba? On to three. On to four. He caught. BZZ brings down Curl. It's a dieback for him, but everyone else falling. G, no exorcism for 15. VP just didn't have enough left in the tank, and now they chase onwards. They buy back on the Razor. And you'd think they would have easily taken it. Do they even Exorcism for this? There is a Glyph. They have their Razor ult. They're going to try and hold Exorcism. Maybe they go for a tier 2 push bottom next. They could go for Throne. 
It's either thrown or spec off. Oh, there's no ravages. A thrown might not be the worst idea, honestly, but there's an Echo Slam for Big Daddy. Who needs Tidehunter? We've got Earthshaker. Is it actually sufficient, though? S4 now silenced. Chased out by G. They get their multicast on fly. He's down for 70. Doesn't have ravages for longer than that, regardless. And they go for the top lane. Actually looking for Puppy. There's still a tier two here. They can't take a second lane back. Again, Big Daddy! He keeps on delivering with these initiations! Awesome jumps from the Earthshaker. They'll get four as the trade. It's probably G going down here too. Exorcism wearing off. Everybody from Secret straight onto him. Sure they're using buybacks, but they're getting big kills. G completely surrounded. Can he retreat out? Yule Scepter at the ready. He'll try for the teleport. That ain't gonna happen. Big Daddy with the big saves. No tell, just bounce. Grave on the G to try and keep them alive. Everyone from Secret thinking about a retreat out, but they don't really want to. Curl will BKB, and they get the kill. Death Prophet out of the game for 110 seconds. Can VP even hold it the fight? They even have, they're close to a Simba Boots of Travel buyback as well. They have five buybacks now. Most of them can rejoin the fights, and they go in mid to Hero Fisher to start. Now the Ravage, no hesitation from Fly. Secondary Ravage is incoming. Got off the Anchor Smash, and they burst G low. He does get off the Grave. Now Sedoi blinks in. G has a BKB. He's going to pop it right away. Just runs for the hills. That leaves Sedoi in no man's land. The gem hits the deck. They're going to lose Sedoi as well. Bit of miscommunication here from BP going in with the puck. Losing BZZ as well. Crumbling under the pressure, and Secret lumped. Just charge forward for Jotam. They don't actually commit too much, trying to flack off this tower to kill him off. Curl won't actually get the flag bounces needed. Now they turn. They've got ex they've got the Razor Ultimate. Exorcism going as well during this time, but Kuro stands and tanks through it as best he can. They begin to zap him repeatedly. His armor is dropping fast. A nice vision from Big Daddy. Staggering the retreat here for Secret. No more ravages, but confidence from their carries on to BZZ. Again, the Graves from Jotam, keeping them alive. As he continues to march forward, BZZ will pop his cheese, will try and finish off S4, who zips to the left, then to the right. Completely confused, they can definitely chip away at him. Ogre looking for those legendary multicasts, not really getting too many when he desperately needs them. They silence S4, and they charge it onto him, begin to steal his damage, but Kuro stands strong. He zones them back for now. Exorcism was used. This was the Refresher Exorcism. Won't have one for a long time. They already lost the Marana. They are focusing Big Daddy. He's used all his stuns just to slow down BZZ. S4 taking too much damage from the Ghost. Will end up dropping. They've lost one. They may lose more. Kuro fights it out. Wins the man fight. Turns for more. The buyback from S4. Straight back in. This might be GG. No Razor buyback at this point. And they just right click down the towers. Tier 4 about to drop. Secret. Looking for their opening win here in Group B action. They'll be the top the standings after this one. It is only the first match. And they close in now another Fissure. This one on to G. And commitment for Staff. Ravage on the way. And it's a drive-by from Simba. Second one caught more. Yo, as well as Jotam. Sadoi 2. GG. Secret. Bounce back and take a very convincing win here in the end. That was well really played. scary for them. Uh, the, death or the protected Death Prophet just was the bane of their existence. Oh my goodness. Big Daddy MVP. Yeah, Big Daddy bailed them out of that so one. So hard. Oof. If he doesn't if he doesn't win them that fight mid, they lose the game. Or they definitely lose Lane of Braxton have like the steepest hill ever to climb back up. Well, in the end, Team Secret. Man, VP they, looked crushed. They struggled more than I expected Jeez, that game. Look at VP. They look